there were a couple of questions about two complements, so I'm making this video to go over a couple of examples. So we will convert negative 1075 decimal to binary using two complement, and then after that we'll convert negative 123 to binary using two complement. So let's do 1075 first. So first we'll convert this to binary. So if we divide 1075 by 2, we get 537, remainder is 1. If we divide 537 by 2, we get 268, remainder is 1. Then if we divide again by 2, we get 134, remainder is 0. Then we get 67, remainder is 0. Then we divide 67 by 2, we get 33, remainder is 1, then we get 16, remainder is 1, 8, remainder is 0, 4, remainder is 0, 2, remainder is 0, 1, remainder is 0, and then 2 goes into 1 0 times, and the remainder is 1. So we go from below to up. And 1075 decimal would be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, then 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, so this is representation of 1075 decimal in binary. Now we'll do one's complement. which is basically we flip ones to zeros and zeros to ones. So we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Then we'll do two's complement, which is basically add 1. So we add 1 to this, then we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now I like to write the position of each bit, so this is position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. Now since this, uh, this is signed binary, uh, we have to look at the most significant bit, which means that 0 means positive and 1 means negative. So we see here the most significant bit is 0, but we want a negative we want to represent negative 1075. So we need to add another bit at the 11th position. So this is going to be 1. So this most significant bit is basically saying that the magnitude of this is basically a negative number. Okay? So let's convert this back to decimal and show and let me show you that this actually this number actually does represent negative 1075. So we will do so, so since this one represents negative number we have negative 2 to the power 11 since this is the 11th position then we'll add 2 to the power 9 plus 2 to the power 8 plus 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 6 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 0. Then we get negative 2048 plus 512 plus 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. If we add all these up, 
we get negative 1075. Okay, so let me show you using a converter. So right here, if we compare to this, we're going to see that it's the same number. One zero four ones, one zero four ones, zero zero one one zero one, zero zero one one zero one. So we know that this conversion is correct. Okay, now let's do negative one twenty three. So we have negative one twenty three. So let's convert one twenty three to binary first. So we'll divide by two. So we have sixty one. Remainder is one. 30, remainder is 1, 15, remainder is 0, 7, remainder is 1, 3, remainder is 1, 1, remainder is 1, and 2 goes 0 times into 1, remainder is 1. So we go from bottom to bottom up. So 1, 23, base 10 would give us 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. So this is in decimal. So now we'll do once complement. Since we want to represent negative 123. So we just flip 1s to zeros and zeros to zeros to 1s. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we'll do 2s complement which basically means we add 1 to 1's complement. So we add 1. So we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, if we look here, the most significant bit here is 0. But we know we want to represent a negative 123. So in this case, we have to add an additional 1 in the most significant bit position. So now let me convert this back to decimal to prove that this actually is negative 123. So the positions are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now, so this is the sign bit. So we'll do negative 2 to the power 7 since 1 means negative and zero means positive okay so then we have plus two to the power two plus two to the power zero we have negative 128 plus four plus one which gives us negative 123 now if we want to convert this to hexadecimal we'll take this binary so one 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So we will separate digits of 4 to convert to hexadecimal. So we have 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 2. So this is 5. And here we have 2 to the power 0, 1, 2, 3. 2 to the power 3 is 8. So in hexadecimal, this is going to be 85. So this is hexadecimal, an 85. So negative 123 base 10 equals 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 in binary. And this is 0x just means it's hexadecimal. So this is base 10, base 2, base 16. So let me show you the converter. So here is the converter. We can see the negative 23 decimal, base 10, is in binary. We'll have 1, 4 zeros, 1, zero, 1. We have the same thing here. And in hexadecimal, it's 85, so we have 85 here. Please remember that this is 
signed 8 bit all right hope that makes sense thank you